Uh, he's a 24 year old, he's from Lithuania, he currently lives in London and he's just about to finish her second two weeks of the course. So can you tell us a bit about when you were first diagnosed with scoliosis? Yeah, so I was about four, 13, 14 and it was a family friend that noticed when I had been over like in the kitchen I was picking something up and she just noticed that I was uneven. And then my parents took me to a chiropractor and then I was diagnosed. Okay. Did you ever go for an x-ray at all? Yeah, I had an x-ray when I was 14, but I can't remember the comment. Okay. Um, what treatment was offered to you following on from your x-ray? So every, every week I went in for like a 15 minute session where they literally just cracked my back. Okay. Um, and just recommended some like mobility exercises. Sure, and did you find that helpful? Um, it helped with the pain for a while. Oh, good. Um, and then, because I was getting quite bad pain at the time, and then the pain started to subside and I sort of stopped going there when I went to uni and college. Okay. Um, and it's only, that I'm, I haven't had too much pain, I think maybe because I have the pain all the time, that I'm so used to the pain. Sure. Um, but like, the main reason I came here was for cosmetics. So how did you hear about us here at Scoliosis SOS? Um, so I was just like looking around for treatments for scoliosis or exercises for it or something to do with um, any pain that I get or anything like that and then I just came across it through Google basically. Okay, so when you first came for your initial consultation here, what were your first thoughts or what was your opinion on this? alternative type of therapy for the treatment of scoliosis? Um, so I had it with Ben and he went through everything quite thoroughly. Um, I'd done quite a bit of research already beforehand um, and I'd seen already the like results of other people and sure. stuff like that and all the different reviews of it um, and any like questions I mean, my dad had like Ben answered quite easily and so it was, it was no hesitation really. I think the way w with other healthcare professionals, what I've seen, it's very like broad, like everyone does this shoulder mobility exercise, everyone does this, um, which can help I guess, as some people always hear, it's very specialised and tailored to this person specific scoliosis. Yes. Um, and you, yeah, you definitely notice a difference as well. What were your goals for treatment? What did you hope to achieve? So my main goal would be the cosmetic appearance of scoliosis because I have one hip that comes out and stuff. Um, and probably just the, the pain, it's, it's, the pain isn't so bad for me, but like if I got rid of it, that'd be a bonus. Okay, <laughs> so do you feel that we're working towards these goals, if we achieve these goals? Yeah, I feel like I'm much more aware of my posture, especially at work. Um, and generally when I'm sitting, um, it's just drilled into my head now, so it's <laughs> just it's a good posture. Drilled voice, just rattling around yeah. sit up. <laughs> okay, so what were your highlights of the course? Um, I really like that it's a group session, so yeah. everyone, yeah, like everyone's kind of in the same boat, everyone's doing their exercises. There's always someone there if you have questions or if you're having any like issues or pain or anything like that, there's always... Sure. Support around, basically. So what would you say to someone who was in your position before you came here? It's considering this type of treatment that's kind of sitting on the fence and not 100% ready to go for it. What would you say? Um, I would say just ask anyone, if you ask anyone that's been here, everyone would give a positive review. Mm. Um, so that's enough really. If everyone who's had scoliosis and come here has come out better or feeling positive about it, then it's definitely how do you feel that this treatment is going to translate into your daily life? So you've already talked about you sitting here and you're more aware of your posture or when you're at work you're more conscious about the way you're standing and presenting yourself. Yeah. But how else is it going to help translate into that daily life, if any? Um, I think because I'm, I have to do these exercises to keep it up, um, it kind of makes me have a more healthier lifestyle. Like already because I'm here, I'm exercising, I'm e naturally eating healthier and stuff like that. And I think hopefully I'll carry that on and that will just make a healthier lifestyle. Too. Awesome. Well, thank you.
Thank you very much.